Hello Glamours and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell for more upcoming future videos. It's my birthday giveaway surprise box. This surprise box may contain items that you may use in your everyday crafting. I will leave a full detail on how to enter in the description bar below. These Marble Lands photos were sent to me by a Pinterest follower to see how I would create my very own Marble Lamps using my own unique style. If you would like to find out how I created two Marble Lamps using my own unique style, just continue watching. So for the first lamp, I'll be starting off with a strong box that I purchased from Home Depot. Next, I'll be using my ruler and I'll trace a line that I'll cut off what I won't be using. Once I was done, I'll start rolling the cardboard very tightly. Now that I have the shape that I was looking for, I'll start gluing it in place. For the remainder of this DIY, I'll be using my strongest glue sticks. I will have a complete list of all items used in the description bar below. Next, I'll use white duct tape for a better hold. And don't forget to follow me on my social media for upcoming DIYs and giveaways. Next, I cut two pieces of round cardboard and I'll be gluing one on each end. Next, I'll be covering one of the cutouts with mirror reflection paper and then I'll also be placing in gravel rocks for a better balancing. Light, and you have the option of gluing it in place or not. And I'll be using one on each lamp. For lamp number two, I'll be starting off with foam board. Next, I'll be taking measurements and cutting it to the sizes that I need. And here are the sizes you will need and you will need two of each size. Next, I'll be using foam bar and I'll be measuring cutting the sizes that I need for the side borders. And here is the size chart of all the sizes you will need. Next I'll be using marble contact paper and I'll just be covering the bigger pieces. I will also be using extra pieces of foam board that I cut out for support in the center.
Once I was done, I'll be adding glue and I'll be adding the second piece. Next, I'll start gluing all my side borders and all my pieces. Once I was done, I'll start marking my placements and I'll also start attaching all three pieces together. And I'll be repeating the same steps on the front and on the back. And also make sure that the bottom is level flat. I took two strips of postal boards and I covered them with mirror reflection paper and then I'll be gluing them on to the center of the base. I'll be using glossy white contact paper and I'll cover a postal board and then I'll cut them into single strips to cover up the remainder of my borders on my other pieces. <laughs> 